Kaduri Farm and Botanic Garden. And this is its story. The Kaduri brothers saw the site's potential. It was the perfect place for an experimental farm to trial different crops at different altitudes and a base from which to help immigrants arriving from mainland China. It was tough, but soon the farm was up and running. They offered farmers training, start-up loans and gifts of livestock, some specially bred at Kaduri Farm. They developed the site, started to plant, and a wave of self-sufficiency swept through Hong Kong. 70% of Hong Kong is green. However, much of it is young secondary forest, plantation and grasslands. But there are still scattered remnants of native forest. Kaduri Farm's strategy is to explore these remaining pockets of old-growth forest, to search for rare species of trees and valuable plants... It's beautiful. ..and to keep them out of harm's way for present and future generations. KFBG is engaged in several large-scale and long-term projects. One is to reforest the barren upper slopes of the nature reserve area with the native plants that used to grow here hundreds of years ago. I think it's an amazing project to restore forests in an area of South China where forests were just really destroyed thousands of years ago. And um, so for me personally, living here as a child in the 60s, this was grassland. There were no trees. There was nothing like this to sit in. And to put back a forest and all of the other life that goes with that is just an extraordinary ambition. And they're doing it brilliantly. At Kaduri Farm, young visitors get the chance to form a deeper relationship with nature. And the... The Fauna Conservation Department has a teaching role too, helping people to meet animals and overcome fears, and for some to experience the thrill of releasing a bird that's been nursed back to health. They introduce people to Hong Kong's wildlife, and animals that cannot be returned to the wild play a key role. The Wild Animal Rescue Centre treats animals found injured and also looks after those confiscated by the authorities from the illegal wildlife trade. Whenever possible, they are released into the wild. And there are important conservation breeding programmes for endangered species, like the Golden Coin Turtle. KFBG looks beyond its own boundaries, forging alliances with governments and other organisations. It's created a green hub in the urban area to promote sustainable living. In mainland China, a KFBG department, Kaduri Conservation China, works with the authorities and local partners to protect rare species and threatened habitats, including the forest that is home to the world's most endangered primate, the Hainan gibbon. <laughs> 